Hello everyone and welcome to Quality Old Games. Today we are starting a Sassanid Empire campaign in Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion Remastered. And of course with hardest difficulties, it seems the faction difficulty is medium. And here I think we will use uh, classic unit balancing and otherwise remastered settings. And without further ado, let's start the campaign. War Truth is the first casualty, I think that holds today as well. I probably have said it before, but I like those quotes here in the loading screens. So, let's see about our empire at the moment. So basically we are having pretty solid area here, I guess five settlements couple of armies, though a bit smaller ones. And I think our main goal is just to attack and beat the Eastern Roman Empire. Because we need to capture this area, this area and this area. And at the same time hold 14 provinces. Or oh, how many was it? Uh, 20 territories or settlements, so that we can gain victory. And I think the thing going for us is that there shouldn't be any uh, barbarian hordes coming uh, too fast into our area. So I think it's enough to focus on the Eastern Roman Empire only. And let's see about our cities. We have a decent amount of money. Though... At the same time our income isn't too big. Okay, port is of no use. Let's see what troops we have here. Levy spearmen are quite expensive to maintain. So I think we will send... Oh, we have some Klibinaris here as well. So I think we will gather an army somewhere here. I think one army should go to take the areas of modern Turkey and then head towards Constantinople, the main prize there, while another army takes the settlements here, it seems to be a rebel settlement, and takes this area of modern Syria, Jordania, Israel and Egypt as well. So basically units from these cities will gather in Artaxarta And uh, I think Adas here, oh, Melchior will be our commander of this army. And uh, so this is minor city, minor city, minor city. So I think it's best to leave the general as close to the front as possible. And I don't think we need to develop our cities too much. The only thing we need to do is to hire some uh, extra garrisons, especially in Arsakia. And maybe we need to make some public order buildings. And then 
the second army, or maybe we could have even a third army from Hatra. And I guess we will capture the rebel settlement from here. And once again, these units are so expensive to maintain that. Okay, so maybe we will move out with just cavalry. And of course it's questionable whether I should have the general with this army. So maybe the cavalry will be enough, as there are one unit of Klibinari there. And the general can go with this army to Hatra, and from there we can move against Antioch. And in Thesiphon, I think we can raise taxis. And if we recruit some peasants, we can raise them even further at some point. In Hatra, we can raise taxis. And uh, maybe. We should train some uh, missile cavalry. And in Artaxarta as well, I think we should train some units that can be utilized in the campaign there. It seems there is a rebel settlement, so we should be able to capture it at some point. And I think we have a turn. So fortunately, the Romans are leaving their cities somewhat underdefended. We are still making some money, not too much though. So Kotais will be our first target here. It's a Christian settlement with some cavalries as garrison, some spearmen too. I think we should be able to handle it rather easily with that army. And as Antioch is so lightly defended, it might be wise to send this army out already. Okay, so the public order there is not rising. Let's lower the taxes a bit and let's check the other cities as well. The 70% is the limit with which they won't be rebelling, but I think with this difficulty we will just play it safe. Okay, and I think we have a turn. Okay, Tarsus also pretty lightly defended. Actually, if we could get a diplomat to the enemies of the Eastern Roman Empire. That could be quite nice. And then let's train some peasants in here. And assaulting from the bridge is excellent. Because if the enemy decides to send reinforcements, they need to fight a bridge battle against us. So that's quite beneficial. 
and we have found Dumatha and it will hold only for two turns so it should fall rather easily and then we have diplomats here where was our did we have an assassin somewhere or maybe he died no he didn't so Kesarea is quite lightly defended good news for us once again suitable husband and we have a turncoat army okay so at least our income went down or rather upkeep went down income went up and where might this new husband be there I think he can stay there at least for a while of course this army here could use some reinforcements but I think we will keep them okay so the Eastern Roman Empire bribed our army there and the question here is should we attack I think we should because Eastern Roman Empire will be gaining strength likely in the early game so if we manage to take the fight to them soon I think our position will be better compared to the uh, initiating the war later on or rather moving the armies against them later on so haste should be our ally in this campaign as well Let's hope that these guys are not the barbarian invasion equivalents for Eastern infantry. And finally, I'm starting to remember that the units move fast as default here. Of course, maybe I could change that, but... And it seems the enemy the army is the nice enough the of their Your have to the initiate gate. a missile fight Order against our army that has quite decent missile superiority. And I think we shouldn't have too much difficulties taking the city. As the enemy armies are weakened quite a lot. It's kind of funny how much the Eastern commentator, uh, this is the enemy in the battle. So I guess these are Clipinary Immortals. Oh, nice. I guess they are the best fighting unit in the game.
apparently the archers cannot fire above the building there. What about now? Maybe it's the enemy horse archers shooting at us. So I think it's time to charge. Okay, nice. Rather decent victory. And we should get some money out of this. And let's see if we can build some financial improvements for at least some of our cities. Let's repair the wall. I think we need to dismantle this. At least that improved the public order. And the city here is really quite bad. And let's move towards our next target, likely Case Rare, unless there is a city there. And. Uh, And another question is, should we assault Antioch already? Maybe not quite, since I doubt that these Levi Spearmen can take on Comitatensis on the walls, even if they get to outnumber them two to one, but still they trickle a bit by bit to the wall. So, Kotais is rather firmly under control. Maybe we should build some mines, gather our army and move on. Hmm. I guess that will be enough. It has to be. Okay, Sinope is there. Our next target. And of course, if we can hire some mercenaries, maybe we can leave. Okay, it won't be of any help to us. So, that has to be enough. Some missile cavalry mercenaries available. We can raise taxis in Artaxarta at least. In Fraspa too. In Arsakia as well. In Thesiphon, let's see. Not too many options to build anything useful. And in Hatra, Royal Road might be nice, considering troop movements. This city should fall to us this turn, and I think we might dare to attack Antioch now. Well, let's see what happens. That enemy general's bodyguard contingent is rather large, so that may cause us some difficulties. And of course, those committatensis, but dromedary should be rather weak units to take down. Today, 
I guess these towers will go to the wall while these towers will provide fire support. And every comment then is taken down by Siege Tower is quite nice. It will make capturing the walls quite a bit easier. is a bit too much of making tricks here. So I guess is the tower shooting Ballista ammo. And why are you you're not firing? Okay, finally. So, if we could take down a couple of more of these comitatensis, that would be great. And, okay. The tower is burning. So let's withdraw, and I think we could position the rest of our army into battle formation here. Let's see how the animation of the tower collapsing is done, okay? An improvement to the original Rome, but maybe it could have been somewhat better as well. Your siege towers have reached the wall. Now the enemy cannot hide behind these pitiful walls. Indeed, pitiful walls. So, fortunately, we are able to capture the gateway here, and of course that means that we will bring the whole army inside. By the way, it might be that the commenting here about dissing the enemy might have to do with uh, honor and shame culture of the Middle East. That was at least in the ancient times. I don't know about situation today. But then at least, of course, that was somewhat the case also in the, uh, Roma, in the area of the Roman Empire, for example, in Italy. But uh, there might be something to that, that they have checked their things historically. Which is actually quite impressive if they have done that. Maybe 
Uh, horse archers could be of some service there. Siis, seems to us commit attentions are just wrecking those militias. Okay, that tower is ours. We are able to do some damage now. And we are our javelin man. And of course, it might not be wise to throw away every spearman we have. Because we still need to take care of the enemy cavalry. And what are you doing? And it seems archers are our most effective. Fighting unit on the wall. Okay, and I think we need to capture at least couple of these towers here. We can enter the city from there, so let's take that one. And uh, it's time to gather our troops there. Church looks like a bit small in that large area there. So there are Imperial Household Bodyguard and Dromedary. I think this might be far enough to organize the defense, other than cavalry units. And then especially these nomad archers will move to engage first. And let's actually bring these clipinaries there. And let's hope that that tower cannot shoot them. Apparently it cannot. So that we might have a chance to flank the enemy if or when they decide to attack us. As said, those dromedary shouldn't cause us too much troubles. But that bodyguard most certainly will.
Okay. We have incoming. And apparently, once again, that didn't go as well as planned. The AI in the city environment isn't the brightest. And of course, both of those are fleeing. So at least this clipinary should get some shots off. But then again, this, they decided to attack. So maybe we should bring all of our uh, melee units to the battle. As we have surrounded the enemy with armor piercing weaponry, we should be in pretty decent position. As we were. And then let's move against these. If we can get a couple of volleys off, that would be nice. But I think it's going to be melee. And unfortunately, we need to wipe the enemy unit out completely. As we are in the city center. Okay. So, we took quite heavy casualties, but at the same time we took a large city, or rather a huge city, I think. And of course we can this turn move against Tarsus as well. Nice amount of money. And there are going to be issues with public order. So we cannot force convert this to Zoroastrianism. At least at the moment. And I'm certain the public order is going to cause issues later on. As well. Let's see, we can uh, retrain units, we could hire trireams, pyreams, and glibinary. I think after some peasants, those are going to be our units of the. We are going to choose. Then let's see if we can combine some of these. I think we cannot. But at least these we can. And these will form the core of our invading army against Tarsus. And let's bring these as well. And then let's retrain the rest. And um, after some peasants, I think we are going to start training the Klippinari. And our general almost get, got to the city. And maybe that will be enough. And I think... We have a turn. So Sinope is going to be rather heavily defended and Kesare as well. And it seems the Eastern Roman Empire is beginning its retaliation. So the question is, is it wise to withdraw towards Antioch? and uh, utilize its walls and the bridge there for our defense 
Or should we push against the enemy here? I guess with this army we should be pretty certain of our victory here. And at the same time I don't want our army to get stuck in this city here. So let's try to utilize the hills there for defensive purposes. And maybe we can afford to buy some mercenaries as well. <laughs> we are going to be able to backstab the enemy with Sinopi. Dumatha should fall to us next turn. <laughs> and of course, we need to uh, gather enough defenses in Antioch. So that... Uh, Sorry about that. So we need to gather enough defenses in Antioch, so that at least there we can stop that Roman counterattack. And maybe it might be wise to send this army to conquer the areas here, and let this guy coordinate the defenses of Antioch, while Tarsus will buy us some time. Okay, it's going to be a cavalry battle, and I think our missile cavalry will have the upper hand here. So the dromedary can withdraw a bit. And let the games begin here. So, the third cavalry is missile cavalry. Basically that means that we are going to attack it. Maybe we should go on to take the city center. Okay. And it, it seems the enemy managed to chase out our missile cavalry unit, but... Victory is always a victory.
And of course, the next question is, how are we going to hold this settlement here? Let's see. And our defense is in Antioch. Should be in place and actually... Let's make some... Fighting men. Instead of those. Peasants there. And I think we should take cavalry with us and perhaps leave these, well, some of the spearmen to aid in defense. And the northern army can continue its advance. We can have a nice amount of new mercenaries there. And maybe we should send some units from Thesiphon to Domatha to aid in the defense. And of course we have the Diplomat, which I had forgotten for several turns, and it seems we cannot get across there. So we don't have that much to do there. And I think we have a turn. Let's see if we can build something in Kotais. Maybe these paved roads would be beneficial as well as the temple and port. And in Antioch. Okay. Let's build that execution square next. And we have a turn. I'm afraid we are going to lose Tarsus rather soon, but on the other hand, I think we will be able to advance quite nicely in these other areas. And I guess Ballistas could be useful in knocking down the gates of Sidon, but we don't want to rely on them only. So the public order is 65%. So it might be that we are going to get the settlement under control, at least at some point. Maybe some fighting men there would be beneficial as well. No mercenaries available. And let's finish the turn. Okay, Hatra is under siege. Antioch is under siege. And we have a new... <coughs> Sorry about that family member in Artaxata. I think we will send him to the front as well. 
and here we can raise taxes at least a bit. Dumatha seems to be under control. Excellent. So when those peasants arrive, I think we can move our cavalry to another area. Of course, do we need to gather an additional force to reclaim Hatranli? It seems only Limitane mostly, some peasants. But maybe we should send a reinforcing army with some mercenaries. And I think this city should fall to us pretty nicely, as well as Sinopi. But I think that will be for the next time. So we have nine regions, uh, including none of the victory regions, but I think our situation is pretty good. Uh, this will be everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That will help a great deal. You can also post comments, ask questions and give advice for the campaign. Have a great rest of the day. Quality Old Games, out.